Hello students, good morning and welcome back to yet another lecture. So as I told you in the previous lecture that I will be posting one video, one short video, one concept every morning, every day morning I will be posting here in this channel and so uh, today's topic uh, I have decided is uh, water use efficiency. So today I will discuss about water use efficiency, right? So what is water use efficiency? Okay, forget about water use efficiency. Just tell me what is efficiency? What is efficiency in your in your viewpoint? What is efficiency? Efficiency is anything that is we are giving some input, some unit input what we are giving and how much we are getting from that input right so uh, suppose uh, an example for an example uh, you are trying to calculate the efficiency of your bike what you are riding okay so that is in terms of mileage okay in one liter of petrol how how long i can go with my bike that is the mileage suppose 50 or 60 km or 30 km or even uh, if you say super bikes there giving the mileage of 15 to 20 kilometers per liter. So why we will calculate efficiency? If we have enough money and if we are, uh, we are not worried about money and we are not, not worried about petrol. So why, why we should bother about the efficiency of, about the mileage? We, we, we can prefer, we can uh, you know, purchase that super bikes and we can ride it. But the middle class family who are much worried about money, much worried about you know, petrol price and all that, who are considering uh, about mileage like me so we will choose that middle kind of 50 60 mileage so why we calculate in this context we are calculating water use efficiency so why we need that water use efficiency if we experiment some kind of drought experiment drought experiment and some kind of if we have limited uh, water resource then we have to calculate that efficiency so why to increase how to increase that water use how to increase that efficiency so that we can manage to get more output from lesser water because water is resource there in case of dry land condition if we if we say so water is limited there so we have to increase that water use efficiency so that we can get a remuneration with minimum water use so first of all let me tell you what efficiency is efficiency symbolizes with this sign so that is output upon input okay this is the general concept of efficiency any efficiency you say okay in case of your bike that is uh, how much kilometer it is driven per liter of petrol okay so like this so what use efficiency in case of water use efficiency that is how much economic yield remember this thing how much economic yield we get from unit quantity of water we apply okay or unit quantity of uh, water obtained by the plant used by the plant okay so yield suppose that is considered economical suppose frame yield okay upon water requirement of that crop in case of this is also known as field water use efficiency field water use efficiency field water use efficiency this yield upon water requirement that is field water use efficiency another is crop water use efficiency if we use that grain yield upon ET evapotranspiration so that is termed as what crop water use efficiency so what we get from this that why water use efficiency needed in case of limited water resource if you have limited water resource you need water use efficiency in case of drought experiment because in drought condition we, we have a limited quantity of water for crop and uh, to manage that uh, water judiciously to get the optimum yield to maximize that yield in that particular condition we need water use efficiency then uh, there are two types of water use efficiency in case of field that is yield upon water requirement in case of no crop that is yield upon ET. 
generally physiology people they used to uh, calculate in this way yield upon et generally agronomists soil scientists they are used to calculate yield upon water requirement so so the, what is the unit of water use efficiency as you know when we apply uh, water in field we generally uh, used to you know say like give this centimeter of water or give this uh, you know millimeter of water so what is that suppose this is a farm suppose this is of 1 hectare and for general recommendation it is given that uh, irrigate the, for one irrigation we provide 5 centimeter of water so what is that 5 centimeter so that 5 centimeter means that height height of water okay we give 5 centimeter so how we calculate that okay so 1 hectare means 10,000 meter square you know that then 5 centimeter we, we have to convert that into what meter so 5 by 100 that's it so just for this so this is this comes to 500 what meter cube as we know 1 meter cube is equivalent to 1000 liter of water so 500 meter cube will be 500 into 1000 so 5 lakh liter yes or no 5 lakh liter 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 lakh liter so if we say that apply 5 centimeter of irrigation water in the field for a hectare then we require 5 lakh liters of water you, you get it uh, the calculation part okay so this may be a, a numerical okay just watch it again and uh, practice it accordingly okay so uh, i was telling that you need of water use efficiency what is what should be the unit of water use efficiency so as we uh, as from the formula we get economic yield in case of in kg per hectare suppose okay divided by what water requirement or whatever water is utilized so hectare millimeter it's the general uh, you know formula general unit hectare millimeter or hectare centimeter if you say in case of this hectare centimeter if you convert it to millimeter then hectare millimeter so the formula will be sorry this is only millimeter okay when we apply it in hect one hectare that is called hectare millimeter so the uh, the unit of yield is economic yield is case per hectare and the unit of water requirement is in mm so the uh, unit comes to be kg per hectare mm right kg divided by hectare and here mm so this comes to kg per hectare mm okay so this is the unit of water requirement sorry water use efficiency so uh, in examination in uh, any competitive exam you will find uh, two most important crops and their water requirement they will ask generally so uh, in case of rice this is the lowest among field crops so what is the water uh, water use efficiency that is 3.7 kg per hectare millimeter and in case of finger millet finger millet it is the highest that is 13.4 kg per hectare millimeter so you have to remember these two crops okay in case of rice that is 3.7 this is general not uh, true for uh, any case every case no so this is 3.7 kg per hectare millimeter and this is finger mill for finger millet is 13.4 kg per hectare millimeter so we, uh, what we learned from this lesson lecture what is water efficiency why we are calculating water efficiency where it is used how to calculate irrigation amount from centimeter and then uh, uh, what is the unit of water use efficiency okay and finally you have to remember these two crops rice this is the lowest water use efficiency crop 3.7 kg per hectare millimeter and finger millet that is 13.4 if in case of photosynthesis if we get different type of you know c3 crops are there c4 crops are there then camp plants are there then their water use efficiency order will be camp 
greater than C4, greater than C3. Why? Because scan plants, they, you know, the stomata are closed during the time and they use uh, less water. Okay. Then C4, photorespiration is lower and productivity is high. Then C3, the photorespiration is high and they use a lot of water. So this is the, you know, this, uh, this will come in exam, this will come in exam, this will, you can answer this. Okay. So this much for today. See you tomorrow. Till then, bye bye.